this is going to be a fun one. I'm out and about today and I'm actually at uh, Frampton on Severn and hoping to take part in the World Elver Eating Competition. The poster is just behind me. World Elver Eating Competition. There's also the Spaghetti Eating Competition. Tug of War and I'm hoping to enter that. Now, if you don't know, elvers are baby eels, uh, traditionally always caught in the River Severn, which is not very far from here, uh, and are quite a delicacy. Um, and people used to eat them a lot in competitions um, in the olden days, but now they've got a sustainable alternative, because elvers have become very expensive. I'm hoping to track down someone who will tell me a little bit more about the history of elver eating, and then maybe get a video of me doing it. Let's see how we go anyway. Okay, so I'm actually by the cooking stand for the sustainable elvers. This gentleman's getting me some. Look at these. Wow. They smell nice actually. So what are you actually cooking here? Well these are these are artificial elvers. They're surimi and they're a reconstituted fish because of course you can't actually eat elvers nowadays because they're a protected species. So these are in place of elvers and those who know say that they taste exactly the same as a real elver. So why don't you try one? I'll try one. Okay. I am gonna try an elver, let's have a look. They are like little worms, look at this. Let me see you eat one as well. Yeah. Right, here we go. Ready? Mm. They're nice. Let's have a little look in here. So, okay, look at that. They're lovely. There's a bit of onion in there as well. Mm, yum. You can cook them to various recipes. You can either cook them with butter and onions, or you can cook them with spices. And, pre and the original ones were cooked just in fat. Right. And that's why people ate them. And the world record for eating a pound of elvers, or a pint of elvers, sorry, in just cooked in fat, is for men 29 seconds. Wow, that's fast, isn't that it? That is very fast. How, how quick can you eat them? No, no, I don't try and do that. <laughs> but the record here is 50 seconds right. for a man. How long how long is this competition how long has this competition been going for? Uh, we've been we revived this competition about four years ago. It stopped in 1980 in the 80s. Why was that? Because Elvis became, it became too expensive. expensive and they were too uh, they were too special to eat. Right. Uh, because now they sell for between 150 and 200 pounds a kilo. Wow. And so they're a protected species. They're all caught and sold, uh, given to the um, Elver Station in Gloucester, and they send them all over the world. I was there last week, right. and there was a lorry going to Latvia, wow. another lorry going to Lithuania, and they go all over the world to restock the rivers with Elvers or eels. So, so they're caught in the Severn, and then they go back around the world? That's they amazing. do, they do. They're born in the Sargasso Sea, and then they take a couple of years to float as eggs across here. By the time they get here, they're these tiny little elvers, and they go up the rivers, they spend nine to ten years, and they come back as gigantic eels, go back out to the Sargasso, and give birth and nobody knows where. Wow. And the whole process starts again. It's fantastic. And this used to be a tradition in this village for the Elver Eating Championship. And we just decided to revive it because we do sheep racing. Yeah. And we thought, well, if we're doing that stupid thing, why yeah. not have a go at this? <laughs> So it's just a bit of fun and it's all enjoyable for the village. It's brilliant. And you're raising money for what are you raising the money for? Well, we Perhaps don't really money. raise money from this. This is just our thank you to the oh, village okay. for helping right. us with the sheep racing. Yeah. We raise money when we do raise money for a whole variety of charities. Um, the Mercy Ships, the Bristol Hospital, children in the village who are in need of special equipment, all that sort of stuff. Brilliant. Or we've just, last year we gave money for a swan uh, centre to sit in the middle of the lake yeah. because people kept stealing the swan's eggs. Oh, no. So we've got a swan's really? platform. Uh, we give money to young children who want to go to Africa to build a school, that sort of thing. 
We're, we're eclectic. It's brilliant. I love this because it's very unique to this area. There's nowhere else doing elver eating, is there? I don't think there's anywhere else quite as mad as us. <laughs> but, but, this, seven, but, it? but this is a tradition in Gloucestershire of yeah. elver eating. It's brilliant. Thank yeah. you very much. It's I a really pleasure. appreciate you that. You enjoy it. Have some I more elvers. Have some more elvers. Look at these. <laughs> okay, so I've had the fake elvers, as it were, but they're really nice. We're going to go and see the real elvers in a bucket here. Here we go. So we, you're the man who catch, or used to catch elvers, am that's, I right? That's right, yes, yeah. So here, and what here, are we, here we have a bucket of elvers. Well, fresh, fresh last night in the river salmon. Look at these. Wow. And you, how would you catch these? You catch these first in a traditional net like this. Right. I've got a, a leg long, big pole, which I've got on here at the moment. Right. You set them a bank like that with a hold, hold in it. As the tide comes through, all the elvers come into the, into the net. Yeah. You... And you put them in there. Have a bucket. You pick them up. Oh, I see. You tip them in the bucket. You into... pour, pour them right. into the bucket. Yeah. And that's it. Then uh, once you've got them into the bucket, we generally used to put them in long trays. Right. A lot if you've got lots of them. Yeah. But uh, and to clean and then... them, you've got a bucket like this. Right. Got yeah, holes in. Just to call it in, and this is a cup of the elvers in. Chris and whoever else. And you'll end up with nice, nice, nice clean elvers. Yeah, Ridley. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that guy in the grey shirt isn't a teenager. Yeah, but... Um, <laughs> 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 ITC, four hours together, like it's seen. Yeah, and the winner is declared. We had seven rugby players and uh, slightly older than teenager, teenagers. Okay, so Jack has ended the spaghetti eating competition and he's going to be on stage in a minute to see how he does in that. Jack, are you looking forward to the spaghetti eating? Yeah. Is there a technique? Yeah. It's going to get messy, isn't it? Yeah. I've noticed it's got tomato ketchup in it. Good luck. That was your day. Jack, and how are you? Where are you from? The Albury orbit further afield, truly international competition this ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Thornbury. Okay, and why do you think you're going to win, Jack? Hello. Come on, I need some courage and convictions. Anyone can win. Get yourself up there, Jack. Next then, we have... Hello, Poppy, and how old are you? Nine years old. Have you ever done this before? So, a bit of previous six so, years. Ladies and gentlemen, the competition rules are simple. It is a competitor who finishes their full plate of spaghetti. Spaghetti elbows. We were going to use alphabetic spaghetti, but we thought that could spell trouble. Oh. Okay, so it's just regular spaghetti to look like Elvis. So don't be so stuck until we tell you. Okay, and it's the first person to clear their plate completely and clear their mouth. You will be tied. Last year's record, I think, was right about a minute, would it? 
You did all right, mate. It's hard, isn't it? Massive, massive How much you got down here? I think it's our big boys. It's quite big to begin. Okay, so in no particular order, family member of the Dens champion, you've done rather well for yourself. What else better? What do you think? It's all right. You can always get better for next year, can't you? Thomas Hutchins, ladies and gentlemen, give a huge round of applause. And let's say second overall, but also the, the girls champion. Huge round of applause for Alice. How did you get on? Awesome. You enjoy it? Yeah. You want to be a bit hit now? <laughs> okay, we'll let you down there. Give her a huge round of applause. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> and for the second year running. Is that the sick bucket there? <laughs> Okay, for the second year running then, it gives us great pleasure to pronounce Oakley Meredith, the Spaghetti Eating King of Brampton. Give it a huge cheer, ladies and gentlemen, our very champions and closing again. Okay, so we're back for tug of war now, so tug of war kicking back off at three o'clock. Look at that for precision, ladies and gentlemen. Some finely tuned uh, tuggers here on this tour. Dictates there, um, you know, it starts and stops, it starts in the middle. Okay. The one team has got Last year's champion successful in their first endeavour. Get you on my video here. Yeah? <laughs> splat the rat. Oh Let's see if you can splat that rat. Go on. Two, oh! <laughs> Have another one to see if you can do it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh! Um, I've been watching the uh, tug of war and the splat the rat and various things. Hardest bit for me is there's so much background noise on the speakers, so I apologise if you can't always hear what's being said. I am trying to chat to people, but the music and the noise of the commentary makes it sometimes difficult. Let's go and have a look at the uh, Elvers that are being cooked. Come to see the cooking! Oh, come see the cooking! I Here we are. Find you. Oh, I, I I've was been away. I've the place. I was flattening rats. Right. Here we go. Al, can you do a bit of cooking? Oh, there we go. So they come in packs like that, do they? Sort yeah, of frozen. frozen. Yeah. Okay. They're in frozen packs, yeah. and you just cook them. And... Wow, they look yummy, actually. I've already tried them. They're lovely. They are yummy. Yeah. Wow, look at that. And you've got mega burgers going over there as well. Mega burgers. Brilliant. I love it. Well, I'll be eating those later. Yeah, yeah, do you want to see them being cooked? Do you want to cook? Do you want to cook? These are just Elvis. Yeah, you just give a bit. There we go. Do you want a bit of them? Whoa! Hey! Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got the ladies' Elvis eating competition coming up first before I go on to the men's one. So we'll see how we go with that. <laughs>
us. Yeah. Are you ready, crowd? Okay, contestants. Are you ready for the ladies? World Outreaching Championship of the World. Right. Just a few rules. Every Albert needs to be eaten. We need to see a clean plate. No elbows on the table, and if there are elbows on the floor, sadly, you will be disqualified. So, be very careful, okay? So make sure when you finish your plate of elbows, if you open your mouth, just to make sure your mouth is empty, and the first person to do that will be declared the champion of the world. Timekeepers! Are you ready? Contestants, are you ready? Okay, three, two, one, go! Okay, I'm going to make my straight away on the world champion currently. She's off to a flying start, looking at how she's still in Oh, Becky, you're going to have to drop the ball just as miles away from you. So just clearly, clearly in the lead in such an early stage in this contest. Just about dead towards halfway down. There is quite a lot there this year. Okay, there is 40 more away towards such a swing at that. Just amongst the same time. Not recommended for ladies expecting this competition, uh, particularly those with body sickness. So, whether they, you know, grab the comments, looking pretty good, but just, I mean, just storming out here. Is, if it was a horse race, she'd be 12 lengths in front of me at the moment. But, you know, still every need to play for. There's still every need to play for. She might get the hiccups or something like that.
Can you see he was good, your dad? Look at that. Well done, congratulations. All right. What a star. Name. Right, let's do that down there. Whoop. That's why I turn this off. No, just keep filming a bit, mate. Or can they do it? Yeah. RICA. Yeah. And then that's your white and champion eater and here's the trophy I can you believe that I didn't expect that in a month of Sunday so anyway this is the end of the vlog thanks for watching see what wacky stuff we do next time thank you okay so you probably got that a bit of a mega shock I actually won the flipping world elver eating competition here is the medal to prove it never expected to win that when I came up here I only came up for a bit of a laugh and uh, I've walked away with a chunky medal and held the trophy I had to give the trophy back which is fair enough but uh what a thing! What a day! Brilliant! Cheers! Woo. What do you think, Jack? Amazing! <laughs> I came fifth in spaghetti. You did out well in the spaghetti, ten, didn't you? Ten or eight children.